Hello everyone and welcome back to Comcrafty. Today I have the last unboxing and haul uh, of 2022. I have to tell you that this was a totally unplanned haul. But uh, I felt I should get a new one since I was ordering a new punch anyway. So, this new uh, punch is from Dress My Craft. I checked this company, it's an Indian company, and I think it works absolutely perfect for me, at least so far. I took the opportunity to order another punch, and this is a, a notch punch, corner and notch punch. Before I did the notches in my pockets, if you remember with that flower, <laughs> I used half the flower punch, it created like a circle with some petals in it <laughs> but obviously that wasn't professional enough and so i thought i should buy this one so it this one uh, around the corner on one and and the other one creates this notch which i like very very much how it looks and i can't wait to actually uh, start using it so this is how it looks on black for you to see better i really love it okay so these are the two no uh, punches and like I said in the beginning, my uh, I misplaced, I lost my bone folders, so I thought I should buy two new bone folders. And this is the scoring tool, which can also be used as a bone folder, but it's less comfortable than the bigger one that I bought. So you can see there that I pressed harder a little bit and it almost went through the paper. So the idea here is because it also has a rounded tip to uh, go lightly. And uh, this is the big bone folder with which all you do is basically fold your papers. Uh, cardstock, no matter how thick, being so big, it has a bigger force and it uh, fits very well in the hand. Like I said, the scoring tool can also be used as a bone folder, but it's less comfortable, obviously. Then I bought some more black cardstock. It has 225. 5 gram per square meters there are 20 sheets in the package and i have worked with it before i am currently working with working with it and i like it so i continued and then of course i had to buy some pattern paper and this was a collection that i have been looking for some time good stuff and uh, it basically contains um all the months from january to december and to be honest <clears throat> Like many of the projects this year, I had planned this one as well at the end of last year. I wanted to make a monthly all year round album, basically to document our year, uh, whatever year that will be, <laughs> month by month. And I love the collection. I love the colors it's using. It's very 70s. I think the creator of this collection has, has been an adolescent uh, in the 70s. Uh, you will see that um, the colors are very, and the style of the collection is uh, very much so. It has the music tapes, the, what I grew up with, and it's a very optimistic collection. So um, I really like it very much. It's very much oriented toward documenting our uh, days, our weeks, our months, our year, basically. And it's optimistic, very optimistic, and I like that a lot. Uh, I mean, yeah, who doesn't? As you can see, as we are going, uh, moving through the months, uh, in March it's uh, become it's more green and the more plants start to appear, more fruits in the summer, like peaches and so on. But you can see that the 70s um, motives uh, appear very much, like the rainbow, the color combinations. Um, and there are very nice sayings, uh, by the way, I will actually try to, sorry for that, try to get to some now, let's see if I manage. So for example, uh, let's see if I can reach May in time. <laughs> um, yes, make your own music, for example, was for May. For June, we have keep your face always towards the sunshine and the shadow will fall behind you, said Walt. And uh, I like very much what's on the back as well. Then we have July with happy vibes and happy little life and the roller skates, which I think uh, we can all remember that is very much uh, an image of the 70s. And the camera, I love the camera. 
Then we have August where life is peachy and it says if you have good thoughts they will shine out of your face like sunbeams and you will always look, look lovely. Then we have peaches on the back like I said. Then comes September which is a lovely page. It's one of my favorite months together with uh, May and October. So here it says it's time to create something, take a break and relax, try something new, make a new friend, find laughter in life, read a book, enjoy time outside, write your story, look at the good. Very, very nice. Then comes October. Again, very nice, where it says be kind, be humble, be beautiful, be bold, be you and dream chaser. And the sky is the limit. So very nice on the back as well. To me, these lines look like the lines in the DNA code. And then we have November and then where it says celebrate and shine bright. I could almost say that for November it's, uh, it's the most um, optimistic color combination. And then we have December, which has nothing to do with Christmas and winter, as you can see. But it's cheer the all, live your best life, forgive quickly, kiss slowly, love truly, laugh uncontrollably and never regret anything that made you smile, said Audrey Hepburn. And that we have on the back. And now I'll continue to show you what else I bought um, for this collection. So I bought these um, enamel dots, which I'm looking forward to use. Then I bought this. Uh, no, actually, this came in the package. Uh, the um, How are they called? Um, I don't find it now, but uh, bits and pieces for journaling. So it's 43 pieces, die cuts basically, and they are perfect for journaling our album. And I bought two because um, the design that I have in my in mind for this album, it's pretty big. I thought I should make sure that I um, have enough paper. And then for the first time, I bought these frames, these chipboard frames. They are in very nice... Uh, uh, quality of the chipboard. There are six pieces and they are like different sizes, classic sizes, but look how nice they are. Them, I saw them used by one of the designers that I'm following and I really liked how they looked and I'm looking forward to use them in this album. I'm very, very curious about how they will look. And of course, uh, you saw, I'm not sure if it passed already, um, the um, sticker sheet that is contained also in the collector's kit. There is some uh, washi tape included. And now the last um, acquisition, also uh, something a first for me, are the Prima flowers. So we have here some white and pink poinsettias. Uh, they are adorable. I like not buying the classics. Then we have some white flowers, uh, red flowers with golden um, uh, edges. I love them very, very much how they look. They can be used in any, you know, Christmas. They can be used in some Valentine's. And then, of course, my favorites are these big ones that I really, really like very, very much. And I hope you enjoy my haul. And uh, I hope to see you uh, in the next video. And until then, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like my content. And I will be seeing you soon.